As you write as sum of products expression, sometimes you will realize that it can be expressed in a simpler way. So we will start doing some minimization. We will minimize the expressions. So, but before we start, uh, we need to go through a few rules that we need to know. These are relatively simple rules that you can even think of the, the answer. So let's say a or a not. So with or function, we know that one of if one of them is one, then the output is going to be one. Since doesn't matter what a is, we will always have either zero or one. This is going to give us one. If we want to add one to an input a or 1, now that the, we have 1 here, the output will always be A. I'm sorry, the output will be actually 1. So, because it doesn't matter what A is, the output will always be 1. And the last one, if we add a 0 to an input, then this is not going to affect anything, so whatever A is, either 0 or 1, the output is going to be A. So these are for the OR, or the addition function. How about if we do it for the AND function? A, A not. So one of them will always be 0, so the output is going to be 0. If you have 1, A and 1, the output is going to be A because 1 is not going to change anything. Whatever A is, the output is going to be A. But if we have a 0, then the output is going to be 0. So these are simple rules. Let's do a few examples here. The first example is x prime x not y z not plus x not y z now we need to see if there is any pattern if there's any common terms here common literals so this is two terms so if you look at here x prime y and x not, not y, you see those are same. So we can write this function x not y and in parenthesis z not plus z. So this is your z not and this is your z. Since z not plus z, that's the same as this one, a or a not, this is going to give you a 1. So now our function is x not y 1. Well, a and 1 is a. So now this one is not going to make any difference, so we can put it x not y. So we used this expression here to simplify and then we used this one to come up to simplify this when we get x not y. Let's do one more x y not z not plus x y not z. 
we always need to look for the same so x the literal x is same and y not is same so these two are same exactly the same way x y not it's gonna be z not plus z so this is gonna be one and this is not gonna matter so I can again write x prime x x not y I will give you one more rule and then we will discuss this here is the rule a or a prime a not b if you have a, an expression like this you can simplify this like that so what happens if you have a same literal but complemented each other then you can get rid of this term an example would be another example x or x not y is going to be x or y or you can also write it this way x not plus x y now this term is complemented here therefore this is going to go so x not plus y 